الكلمة الآن للسيد جوردن لوف نائب الرئيس للأسواق الناشئة لأوروبا والشرق الأوسط وأفريقيا في شركة سيمانتيكلا فليتفضل Your Excellency Sheikh Mohammed Abdullah Abarak Al Suba Minister of State for Cabinet Affairs Chairman of the Board of the Central Agency for Information Technology Your Excellency the Ministers your Excellency Mr. Kasai Al-Shati, Chairman of the E-Government Forum. Your Excellency Mr. Yusuf Khaled Al-Mazouk, General Manager of the NUF Expo. Ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed a privilege and an honor for Semantic to partner with NUF Expo and the State of Kuwait as part of this process. Semantic's investment and commitment in the GCC spans 17 years. This area and this region remains a key focus and a very important part of our business. Semantic, as you may be aware, has recently acquired Blue Coat Systems to form the largest cybersecurity company on the planet. What this means for us locally in region, more importantly, is we have now doubled our investment, doubled the number of resources that we have, not just across the GCC region, but specifically in the state of Kuwait. As Semantic and the state of Kuwait join forces to combat an ever-changing and increasing threat landscape, and sophisticated enemy, including a number of various threat actors, but also other nation states. We have a sizable challenge ahead of us and on our hands. Some very small but very important statistics. 2009, globally, there was a total of two million malware variants and malware attacks. Over six short years, we have seen that number grow to 430 million pieces of malware, number of attacks, uh, being very aggressive, now reaching nearly 1.3 million attacks per day. What we have seen uh, recently, globally, and on assessments, four out of every five websites have vulnerable vulnerabilities and have exposure. People often say, well, what do I really care about websites and vulnerabilities? But yet most of us in organizations and specifically government and specifically the oil sector in Kuwait over the years continue to experience massive DDoS attacks which affect business uh, and also affect production. So we do care. This challenge that we face together really raises the importance of developing, implementing, deploying and managing integrated cyber defense solutions and platforms. As we know, the challenge we face is significant, where industry, government and private sector all play a massive part in order for this to be successful. The big benefits of technology, that which we understand everyone's path to digital transformation, comes with risks. What we have experienced as the largest cybersecurity company on the planet through our experience in the GCC, but more specifically in Kuwait, the level of conversations that we're having are fundamentally different from where they were three years ago. The programs that have been driven through the state of Kuwait at a government level and large organization level are among some of the best programs currently being run at a global level. The attention to detail, the focus is extremely uh, impressive. As we all know, technology really only solves one part of the problem. Policy and regulation supports the adoption but is not necessarily a prerequisite. Good guidelines always in play. Intelligence in terms of the size of the threat globally, the introduction of machine learning and automation important. Most important of all of them is skilled people. 
we have a global challenge with skilled people in the era of cybersecurity. We are working with the Kuwait government specifically and a number of, 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 of the departments specifically on developing a world-class cyber academy. If we look at the global level and the global scale, there is constant need for in the region of around 4 million cybersecurity professionals. I experience a number of successful projects in the GCC. The simple things that we do know, technology and intelligence, which is guided by relevant policy and regulation, underpinned by skilled and passionate people, make a significant difference in the battle that we are in, in this new frontier. The state of Kuwait and the projects currently underway, underpinned by the Expo, is absolutely on the right track. The level of conversation, the initiatives, the willingness to engage with world-class capability and world-class standards is something to be admired and shared across the rest of the GCC and globally. So from a semantic perspective, as the largest cybersecurity company in the world, we are committed to helping the government, companies, and citizens of Kuwait in the war against cybercrime and espionage. And we wish continued success in this, the fourth expo. And once again, thank you very much for allowing Semantic to participate. Shukran.